Today I'm going to show you the basics of Adobe Rush and walk you through editing your first vlog in the program so that you'll be ready to post it to YouTube by the end of this video. Keep on watching. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Katie Steckley and here on my channel I love to talk about all things travel and filmmaking and my life as a freelance videographer. All right, let's open up Adobe Rush and get started. All right, so now that we've opened the program, I'm gonna walk you through the basic features and tools that are in Adobe Rush, and then we're gonna do a little sample project so you can see them at work while you're editing a vlog. It's gonna open up to a page called Your Projects, and the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is click Create a New Project. I'm gonna call this Adobe Rush Tutorial. You can select your clips in any order. It doesn't really make a big difference, but if you are gonna end up editing this chronologically, the best thing to do is select them in the order that you want them to end up in the timeline. Then we'll click Create. Okay, before we jump into actually editing this footage, I'm gonna walk you through what all of these different icons and panels mean. Starting in the top left corner here, this bin lets us see all of the media that we have in this project. So right now, it's just showing us those clips that I selected when we started this project. The plus button will allow you to add more media, whether that's titles, clips of photos or videos, or a voiceover. Further down, we have our editing tools. The scissors icon is for splitting a clip. You can click that button or press Command K to split whatever clip that you are highlighting in half. The duplicate button is pretty straightforward. It will duplicate your clip and the delete button will delete it from the timeline, but not from the project folder. Now there's a couple buttons in the bottom right that will allow you to toggle the view that you have. You can click expand audio, which I would recommend doing because it allows you to see the waveforms of the audio in each of your clips and it really helps with editing. And then there's another button for seeing each of the tracks and it allows you to either hide them or mute them or lock them. If that feels a little confusing, then you can turn it off. It's not as important, but I would definitely recommend looking at your audio waveforms while you edit. In the top right-hand corner, we have the different panels for more editing tools, such as adding titles. There's a lot of different great templates here that you can use. There's also transitions, so if you want your clips to fade to black in between or cross dissolve, you can do that. There's also some basic color grading tools here with built-in presets and the ability to create your own presets. Then we've got the audio editing panel and the transform panel, which allows you to rotate, resize your clip or your photo or whatever piece of media you have in the timeline. So those are basically all the tools that you need to edit a basic video for YouTube. Now I know it can be kind of overwhelming to look at all these little buttons on your screen and not really know what to start with. So I am gonna edit a sample vlog clip for you here so you can see how all of these elements get put into practice. So let's jump back up to the project assets bin here. So this is where all of the photos, videos, and music that you're gonna include in your video will live. I wanna add some background music to this vlog, so I'm gonna click the plus button and select media, and then I'm gonna to navigate to my folder where I keep all of my music for my YouTube videos and pick this song that I found on Epidemic Sound to add to my video. As you can see, as soon as I import it, it's automatically added to the timeline, but it doesn't have to be there. I can easily select it and hit the delete key, and it's gone. I'm gonna navigate back to my project assets bin and you'll see that it is in fact still there. It's just that Rush automatically adds anything that you import into your timeline. I'm gonna go out of the project assets bin now and watch through my clips that are all lined up back to back and decide what parts I wanna cut out and what parts I wanna keep. Yeah. Am I in it? Maybe or am I not? You're in it, yeah. All right, so I can already tell I wanna cut out that part because I was preparing to speak and I wasn't ready yet. So I'm just gonna press the scissors button here, select this, press the garbage bin, and it's already rippled deleted it, if you're familiar with that terminology from Premiere Pro, which basically means it deleted it and it moved the entire sequence back to the beginning. So now we can watch from here. Now we're going to the movies to see On the Basis of Sex, which is a new film that just came out about Ruth Bader Ginsburg, who is one of the Supreme Court justices in the States. So I'll pause it there, and I'm gonna click the scissors icon and select the second half of the clip, 
and press delete. Now I've got a little bit of B-roll that I want to include. I want to trim this clip, so instead of just using the scissors icon, I can click on the orange bar and drag it. And I can do that from the beginning as well. Court justices in the States. Now I want to keep some ambient noise in the background, but obviously there's a lot of really loud traffic noise in this clip. So I'm going to select it and here I can adjust the clip volume down to, let's say 25 and we'll listen to it again. Supreme Court justices in the States. That feels a little bit more natural and like background noise to me, which is perfect. So we'll move on to the next clip. I thought I may as well have the fellas. <laughs> so that dialogue is pretty irrelevant to the rest of the scene. So I'm just gonna trim the clip to make it a little bit shorter. And I am going to go back into the audio panel and select mute. My next clip is inside the movie theater. Because these clips are pretty small compared to the entire timeline, it's hard to see. So I'm going to hold in my option key and scroll, which will zoom me in. And then I'm going to click and drag to shorten the clip and I'm going to select this one again and also click mute. This clip where Emily and Alexandra arrive at the movie theater, it's pretty loud at the beginning and I just want to include the dialogue from the second half. So what I can do is if I hold in the option key and drag the orange bar over top of where the audio is, I can drag the audio and delete part of it so that when I play the clip, it will be silent for the first couple seconds and <laughs> what an then the audio will come in. So I'm going to do that so it includes what I'm saying but not the background noise beforehand. <laughs> what an <head> trip. <laughs> and then I'm going to do that on the second half as well. So finally the clip of me back at home talking about the movie. I'm actually going to use my audio track here to navigate to where I start talking because I see this spike right here and I know that's where I start talking. I'm going to bring the playhead over to where the audio starts and I'm going to hit command K and that splits my clip and then I will then hit delete to get rid of the first part of the clip. So now when we watch it over. All right, so we're home from the movies now and, and we'll end it there and I'll hit command K and then I can delete the second half of the clip. So now if I zoom back out again by holding in the option key and scrolling, I can see my entire timeline. And now I'm going to add some music to the background. So if I open up the project bin once again, I can navigate down to this track from Epidemic Sound and click add one. Again, it snaps immediately to the very beginning of the timeline. But if I want it to come in, say, halfway through me talking, then it can start there. But I actually think I will start it at the very beginning and use this really cool feature that Adobe Rush has that I just discovered, which is called auto ducking. So to use this, you need to select your audio clip and navigate over to the audio panel. Then we're going to go down to advanced and select auto duck. So I know that sounds kind of silly, but basically what this means is Adobe Rush will automatically detect where there is other audio or dialogue in the clips that the music is playing under, and it will automatically reduce the volume in those sections so that you can hear the talking. So let's just look at an example. Supreme Court justices in the States. <laughs> what an head trip. <laughs> All right, so we're home. So as you can see, if you look closely at the audio track, there is kind of a light and dark section that is generated that shows you where they're reducing the volume and where it is staying the same. This is a super easy way to add background music to a vlog, but keep it at a level where you're still able to hear what you're saying when you watch back during the dialogue sections. Finally, we will cut the audio track and delete the second half to finish it off. 
So here is my sample clip from my vlog. Now we're going to the movies to see On the Basis of Sex, which is a new film that just came out about Ruth Bader Ginsburg, who is one of the Supreme Court justices in the States. <laughs> what an entrance. <laughs> All right, so we're home from the movies now and I really enjoyed the film. So I thought I would tell you a little bit about it as I did my skincare routine. I'm now gonna navigate over to the share tab where I can select local. This just means it'll save onto your computer or your hard drive. We can name the sequence Adobe Rush test vlog. I can save it in my desired folder and click choose and then I will click export. And that's all it takes. It's really straightforward once you know the tools that are available to you and you work through your vlog in chronological order. Soon enough, you'll have it edited and ready for YouTube. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, then it's time to step up your vlog editing game and check out this video all about my best secrets and hacks for making an epic vlog for YouTube. Also, while you're at it, make sure you hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my future videos. I make a filmmaking related video every Friday and a vlog about my life as a freelance videographer every Sunday. So I hope to see you there. As always, I hope you're having adventures and following your dreams and I will see you in the next video. Bye!